all got a little taste of Halo Reach earlier this year during the public beta, but that unfinished morsel only represented a small fraction of the final multiplayer suite. Today we're going to walk you through three more multiplayer maps, two of which should be instantly recognizable to the long-term Halo fan. First up is the most exciting and interesting remake I've yet seen in Halo. Zealot is the new midship, with the lower tiers having a near identical layout to the Halo 2 classic. The map is symmetrical and meant for 4v4 games. The layout of Zealot is perfect for team objective games with bases at each end and 5 man cannon lifts aiding leaps between the levels. The insanity comes on the new third tier which actually takes place in outer space. A semi-permeable shield allows players to move up and down between the outer hull and the main ship areas, though bullets and other projectiles can't pass through. Once outside the ship, gravity is reduced which allows you to leap huge distances with ease. Add in some jetpacks and you've got some crazy space combat. Next let's take a look at another Halo 2 map remake. Reflection brings the fan favorite Ivory Tower back to life. Everything is exactly how you remember it, though proportions have been updated to match the new physics of Halo Reach. The elevator, rocket launcher spawn, and even the shotgun platform are all right where you remember them. The look of Reflection is, again, mostly how you remember it. The wood paneling has been updated for a shinier gloss finish, making this one of the brightest maps around. Reflection, like Ivory Tower before it, is designed for 4 on 4 matches. For me, it's the perfect Team Slayer map. <laughs> Last but not least, let's take a look at Spire. This map is about as asymmetric as they come, with a craggy beach giving way to a huge Covenant Tower. Spire is actually designed for the new Invasion game type. Here, one team of elites attempts to defend several points from oncoming Spartans. The last defensible position puts every elite at the top of the Spire, bunkered down for a huge standoff as Spartans use man cannons and the new Falcon helicopter to invade. This map shows the true strength of the invasion game type. With elites sniping from the top of the tower, vehicles soaring through the sky, and players vaulting several stories at once, things get downright crazy. The best part? Little bumpers on the ground enable you to jump from the top of the spire down without dying. That is, if you have perfect aim. That's it for today's peek into the Halo Reach multiplayer game. We'll have much more soon, so be sure to stay tuned to IGN.com. Revenge.